Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutarot, and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again, I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces star sign, and for that reason. Uh, is going to resonate in a, in a different way and in a different level with every single different Pisces. So if you want more personal touch, meaning uh, that your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards and to give you a prediction for uh, its future uh, unfoldment, that is a subject of a uh, private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. So going to Pisces, first card for the topic of Pisces week. This is going to be the King of uh, Cups, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach you can do toward the situation. That is going to be the Five of Pentacles, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation. This is going to be the, um, <clears throat> the Lover's card. And the last one that is the final outcome of growth, which is the nine of pentacles. Uh, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot? Okay, so once again, knight, uh, king of cups, followed by the five of pentacles. Then it is the uh, lover's card. And the last one that we do have, this is going to be the nine of pentacles. So the only way I can see these cards, guys, is in a couple of ways. What well, the only way I can see these cards? Well, these cards can, um, or this reading can manifest in a couple of ways. The first is that someone is going to give you a helping hand to uh, tackle with a crisis you are going through career or relationship-wise. Or it could be a, a person who uh, is going to give you a, a very, very tempting offer. Now, this is residing here with the uh, King of Cups. So your topic revolves around that person. And this is a, a very experienced person who is capable of deep feelings and emotions, but only toward those kind of aspects that are uh, proven worthy for their feeling and emotions. Meaning, they commiserate on you because they see your righteousness, okay? They are offering you something because they see you capable. Uh, they want to commit with you in a certain way because they recognize you as the right person to do so in either version of manifestation. Then the King of Cups always goes for balanced decision, all right, decision making, meaning that at the start, they're not going to commit fully into that first. Most likely that person is going to test you how much you want their help or how um, determined you are to take on this opportunity. Basically, giving you that, uh, giving you that um, example here, let's say that someone offers you a certain job you say, I'm going to think about it. They are not going to offer it a second time. They are going to wait for you to make a call. If you don't make a call, they are not going to come to you with the same topic twice. Okay, so don't kind of um, miss your race here, if I may express myself that way, or don't think that this guy or a girl or a woman is going to chase you for that they for till the till the end of time okay they are interested but only if you show that you are interested as well into what they have to offer to you either in a very tempting offer or either a, a very tempting proposition and an offer or a, a helping hand that they are willing to give you in the plights that you are facing the accompanied card here this is going to be the ten of pentacles the formation is passive uh, friends so it does point that you have earned their trust one way or another i don't know how but they uh, see you in a very different light and in a very different shade than what they uh, than what they have saw you previously uh, the first example that comes to my mind is that maybe they saw you as a, a spoiled brat you know that is always used to kind of lean on others giving you straight away on an example you have been married for someone who is very well secured financially wise 
that is your neighbor and your neighbor have been seeing you until this very moment as someone who completely rely on their husband or their wife for the uh, sustainability into the family but now you have divorced you are taking care well for your children and so on and so forth and that person traverses their opinion seeing you as a very good match that is just for example so the point is that <clears throat> previously this person of, uh, of experience and a person who holds what you want didn't show you um, worthy enough for what they have to offer, didn't show you worthy enough for their help, didn't show you worthy enough for, for their commitment in general. But now you're, proven, you're proving them wrong and you are severely increasing the sense of trust that they have upon you. And the good thing with these couple of cards, guys, is that their interference into your things are going to be made in a, such a balanced way that they are not going to jeopardize your um, personal independence, meaning that nor for a second they are going to make you feel weak and that you depend on them at all costs. So they are going to be very gentle and very polite with their approach, regardless if this is good, if this is about personal commitment or a help over a plight that you are dealing with, or you know, or, or or an offer that they are going to present. For example, if this is a, a job offer, is gonna be very reasonable, especially if you are finding yourself in a tough spot right now, being jobless, and that is the only option available of yours. They are going. They are recognizing that. But that doesn't mean that they have to abuse your capabilities, you know, giving you less money for it and so on and so forth. So it's it's really, really a, a good aspect of yours that this person is going to come around and is basically going to place the accurate value of yourself in one way or another, proposing you the accurate price for your services, you know, or making the... Uh, the accurate contribution into, for example, one potential relationship. So uh, the next card it is how you should not approach this situation. That is the five of pentacles pointing that you are way too busy with other things and not paying attention to them. It is the only thing that can truly ruin this awesome experience you can have and helping hand that can come around. As well, the five of pentacles here may point that you may be way too or may present yourself way too proud to take on their, on their help, which is the only thing you don't want to do. So you need to recognize that with the cooperation with someone else, with this person, or with, uh, you know, with the consolidation together, things are going to be much more easier to be tackled with than without them as well. Because with the five of pentacles here, you can face the storm in your life in a cooperation with someone else as well. Additionally to that, <clears throat> Five of Pentacles, as I said, uh, does refer to stubbornness, mental strength, you know, and while this is a, a virtue in many cases, this time around you need to show yourself as a weak, okay? Especially if you are a woman, just take it like that. You need to show yourself like you need someone to take care of you. You need someone to, to deal with the stuff for you. You need to show yourself as, as someone who, who can actually invite different person into their lives so they can um, that different person to resolve their issues and to consolidate on trust that you can build up into one another uh, well basically the card points that you need to allow someone to help you with whatever you're dealing right now pisces and if this is a, about a romantic relationship once again you need to just show yourself that you are that you're on the weaker side all right that you need emotional support at this very moment you need someone that to uh, to maintain your balance not to burst into tears or not to lose your sense of emotional commitment into another human being because the uh, king of pants the king of cups excuse me also have very big sense of the human nature they know how to approach and an intimate and emotional situation as well. The accompanied card here, this is the uh, Queen of Swords. The formation is passive enemies and this card here points that you should 
present yourself as a very assertive and emancipating as well, meaning of that you gotta just go with whatever is presenting, uh, is presenting itself at this very moment. Should the mean be a little bit different than what you have anticipated? That's all right. I mean, taking advantage of this mean uh, is going to allow you to break through your difficulties with the uh, with the queen of uh, with the queen of swords. The thing is that you need to as well rely on your previous um, poignant experience. The queen of swords is all about learning from the poignant experience that we had. <clears throat> so, for example, you had that really. Uh, amusing previous suitor of yours that left you for another woman because she or for another guy because they found them more amusing than you are well that may ring that should ring a bell here that the next suitor of yours it doesn't matter if they're amusing or not it does matter how well they compete emo or how compatible they are emotionally with you so that is about the queen of swords and with these couple of cards the more you lean to the queen of swords the 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 weaker the uh, or rather like if you lean to the queen of swords there won't be any repercussions here from the five of pentacles as they are not neutrals but they are enemies so you can do one way or another but should you learn from your poignant experience and you don't aim for the same kind of guy to be or a woman to be your next suitor or you don't aim the same kind of job I mean, as an entirety, I mean, it could be in the same narrative, but not in the same kind of, uh, how can I place it, um, the same kind of uh, rules or stipulations in your contract to be as a, uh, you know, as a job foundation. Uh, meaning of that this time around, you know, you kind of being more calculative when it comes to embarking a, a new endeavor is going to pay off a, a big time. But the Queen of Swords is very smart, meaning that uh, if you are smart enough, you are going to recognize that together you can achieve much more or allowing this person to help you is going to serve you much better um, much better reason than trying to tackle with everything on your own. So, for example, if your um, if your neighbor proposes you to run the kids to the school this time around, you know, and you very well know them, you know that they did your neighbor is a nice guy or a nice woman and so on and so forth. Allow him to do so while you do have a business date. Uh, uh, to kind of like prepare yourself for in for and you don't have the time to do and to do so and so on and so forth. Uh, so the point here is guys, is that being proud and not allowing someone to help you is not gonna get you as far as you can should you allow this person that steps in for you throughout this week to truly lend you a helping hand or give you this tempting proposition. So the next card that we do have, this is the lovers and that is what you gotta do. So definitely if there is some sort of emotional attraction, the lovers asks you to explore this emotional attraction. So that person could as well end up being your lover rather than, you know, only just being on a, a business or friendship type of the spectrum. But the lovers here point that you need to resign about the situation in a sense of that you need to accept once again that through help, through allowing someone to help you, you can achieve much bigger harmony into your endeavors and into your environment overall. Additionally to that, allowing this person to help you is going to allow you to resolve many issues lingering. As a matter of fact, that person is going to resolve their issues on their accord, meaning that you don't have to do much about it. But with the lover's card as well, it is important to, uh, how can I place it? It is important to recognize that they, that person had a choice. They could choose not to step out, but they did. And that should mean a lot. And you, somewhere down the road, not throughout this week, but somewhere throughout the road, the lover's asks you to basically show your appreciation toward it. That is all that is required. And uh, also as the, lover invo the lovers involves uh, a certain decision that needs to be made, you get to choose, you know, are you going to do what you have to, allowing someone to get close to you, or what you want to, basically shutting down every door for everybody that uh, can or wants to make your life 
much more easier with the uh, next card which is the wheel of fortune here that contributes our, or the formation it is active friends it means that throughout the cooperation and the harmony you can have with this person a an opportunity is going to come around or there this is going to be one in a lifetime opportunity to attract the very least a, a very faithful companion a very good friend that is going to serve you a long way or who knows maybe your next husband or a wife you know, again, who knows? So definitely should there be an, an emotional attraction in this cooperation or in this interaction with that person, either through a um, amusing enterprise or, you know, a helping hand that they're going to, that they will want to give you, you definitely need to explore it. And with the uh, Wheel of Fortune, it does look like that the window is going to be rather very short to do so. Just giving you an example, uh, this person proposed you to make your company um, kind of walking your kids on the school and when you basically uh, drop them off the school, you get on a private place, you know, in a place of intimacy and the, the circumstances are in such presented that you can kiss each other, well, that is your window, all right? So basically, think fast. Okay, don't don't hesitate, guys. Following the lover's card, you got to do things at sight. And the advice here on a positive position is that you got to do what you want. In a sense of, you know, when the situation present itself. But when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to allowing people in your life, no one went far on its own. This, this is this is a maxima. All right. And in certain aspects of our life and in certain um, points into our life we basically need to allow ourselves to be the weaker one and to rely on someone else because this is how we basically display to the world that we are also ready you know or we want to be cherished by someone and to be liked by someone and to be carried by someone as well so finally at the end we definitely talk about a, a point of conquest here so whatever uh you anticipated through that cooperation it is the very least bringing a, a huge huge fruits of your labor so points of contest uh points of contentment it is what we do have with the uh, nine of pentacles at the end which is the results of all that the results of grow growth moments of joy and exhilaration as well and should this be a business offer guys you definitely can count this one as a, a very huge business success the thing with the nine of pentacles is that the fortune itself it seems is going to have your back here and whatever you try to do with this guy or a girl or a woman doesn't matter is going to be marked with a, a significant significant improvement and success as well the accompanied card that is to be the two of uh, uh, the two of swords the formation is passive enemies and it means that you are to stir your situation but only if you uh, <clears throat> don't allow yourself to be hesitant on taking on the opportunities that are to be presented involving you and that person into them so these are going to be a, a cumulative um, opportunities he or she is going to be ready to jump into it and it will wait for you and you should not be hesitant as well should you want that cooperation to proceed to 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 continue to thrive and so on and so forth so uh, a very broad reading at the end it does uh, it does depend how this person is going to manifest itself um either career or either in your career field or in your relationship field as well but definitely they are going to um have that uh, how can I place it? That biased uh, expectation, no expectation, that biased standpoint that you do deserve their commitment into whatever, right? I am through their commitment. Should you not be proud and actually allow them to embark into your life, uh, a significant improvement, either career or relationship wise, is going to be established at the end. And a lot of, as I said, exhilarating moments, uh, moments of joy, moments of content as well are awaiting you at the end of the week, having cooperating with this person.
very balanced and very experienced one. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was your general reading for Pisces star sign. And uh, if you want more personal touch, because this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Pisces, um, you can check your personal situation with me through Tarot by going to my website and on the very first, uh, on the very front page, excuse me, you're going to see a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing up now. See you next time. Bye.